Hello, good morning. Uh, I always have to start these things by saying how great it is to see everyone, and it sounds trite, but it really is great to see everybody. Uh, a lot of people I used to work with that I don't get to see because I'm not going to work anymore. Uh, <laughs> And also to see other people who are meeting people they work with you know, online and never get to see in person until things like this. So it's really great. One of the things that's great is uh, everyone is so happy. <laughs> and uh, I think that's contagious. That's part of the community and uh, a good sign for its health and for, uh, and for all of your health. So that's great. Uh, I appreciate everybody who's asked me about re my retirement. I am actually enjoying my retirement, yes is the answer to that. Uh, but I want to make it clear, I've only retired you know, from my job. I have not retired from closure or working on closure. I worked quite a bit on closure this year to get 112 out, and we're working on core async things and other future stuff. And I won't spoil uh, Alex's talk later at the end of the day, but uh, still very much actively engaged with the team and working on things. So whether or not you see that is a separate question, but it is happening. Uh, I just want to you know, encourage a few things to everybody who's here because this is sort of the core of the community, people who have been with Closure for a very long time and also some newcomers, but people who are enthusiasts. Uh, the first thing is I want to encourage you to have fun. I think it's, it's one of the points of pride for me in Closure that people have jobs uh, writing code in Closure and livelihoods and you know, are able to feed their families and, and be productive that way. Uh, but I don't want anybody to lose track of the fact that you know programming can be fun. I think most of it, us got into programming because it was fun. Uh, so I encourage you, if you do not have a Clojure side project or you don't use Clojure for fun at all, to think about using Clojure for something fun for yourself. Um, there are lots of places where Java gets embedded. I think it would be cool to embed Clojure and make uh, whatever capacity is enabled by having Java be embedded, be more dynamic and interactive, which you could get by sticking closure in there. Uh, so yeah, so have some fun. Uh, the other thing I think is really great about being here and seeing the talks and seeing what people have chosen to talk about and the way they put their talks together is that this remains a community that is interested in ideas. You know, we don't get a lot of talks about, you know, if you, if you write type this and then you type that and you connect this to that, you know, this happens at the, the other end. We mostly get talks about the concepts behind things that really cross languages even, but certainly cross projects. Uh, so I love that engagement with ideas. But one thing I would encourage everyone to do, especially, again, the people in this room, is to remember uh, that there was a time, you know, before you knew closure or knew of closure and there, there was a time that there was not yet a closure community. And in that time, the old days, we'll call it, you know, Stu and I were out there on the road uh, talking about, you know, this new language we had to explain how to pronounce to Java programmers. And that was super important. That's what caused this community to exist. And I think one of the challenges for communities once they exist is they exist, so let's just hang out in our community and talk to each other uh, and talk to like-minded people. Uh, but I think you have to remember that the community doesn't grow unless you plant seeds on new ground, right? You don't get bigger, bigger farms, bigger fields, and bigger communities. Uh, and the other thing I think is, you know, we have the internet and, you know, you can find things and there's search and there's, you know, Reddit, and people talk about stuff in places. And that's a way for people to discover new things, but it's, it's, it's important for us to go beyond relying on people discovering us, but to actively get out there. And I think there's no substitute, you know, for somebody to go to a Java, you know, group or any other kind of Python group, whatever, and have a person, you know, in front of them who's enthusiastic about something talk to them. Right? It's infectious. It's how this community started, and I think it's how this community can grow. I mean, the enthusiasm here, just share it. You know, go somewhere else and share it in person, uh, something I would encourage you to do. Of course, people ask you, you know, okay, but what's special about Clojure? What's Clojure good for, you know, besides writing banks? You know, because how hard could that be? Uh, 
And, you know, and I think that, you know, again, looking at the community and what people are doing and the way people talk about their work, uh, what closure is good for is, you know, enabling creative people to pursue their vision without getting caught up and distracted by a bunch of complexity that's not important. Uh, so it's also a good language, therefore, for startups. But I think more generally, it's a good language for optimists. So spread the word and enjoy the rest of the conj.